He broke into the public scene by being the face of the 2003 Oakwood Mutiny, when rebel soldiers took over a glitzy hotel to demand the resignation of then-President Gloria Arroyo. Jailed for seven years, he campaigned from his prison cell and, to everyone's surprise, won a senatorial seat in 2007, winning again in 2013 after being granted amnesty by President Aquino. In 2016, he is angling for the second highest post in the land. Good evening, I am Tony Abad and this is Political Capital. With us tonight, Senator Antonio Fuentes Trillanes IV. Good evening, Senator Trillanes. Good evening, Tony. Welcome. Senator, you rose to national fame after leading at least two mutinies against the, uh, the administration of uh, then-President Arroyo. Why would the system trust uh, someone with a vice presidency when you actually challenged it? You went frontal against the, the system, and now you're trying to work within it. No? Well, I didn't go up against the system. I went up against a person who was bastardizing uh, the system. Okay. Um, remember, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo actually um, didn't win an election. And uh, in the second one, she cheated and it was documented and everybody knew about that. So those are two different things. I believe the system is workable, okay. provided that it is run well by the people in power. Do you sense any any of those feelings that you had back in 2003, uh, maybe in, in connection or we, you know, looking at this administration, does anyone have um, I guess taken that same attitude you did towards the Arroyo administration? For now, um, the morale is very high. Okay. The uh, Aquino administration, to its credit, gave uh, particular attention to the welfare of uh, our soldiers and policemen. You were also mm -hmm. questioning, I guess, social injustice at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, do you still find some of that social injustice present today? Uh, in some instances, yes, but uh, not as a rule. Okay. I believe this administration uh, demonstrated its uh, particular concern in addressing those social uh, inequalities and uh, they may lack short uh, of um, impact, but didn't, they didn't lack short in uh, uh, effort. Metro Manila in particular, there seems to be a breakdown in uh, public order. Mass transport system is uh, inadequate and uh, lacking or uh, obsolete. And in cases of uh, law enforcement, uh, because of the cumbersome Metro Manila population, um, there seems to be um, chaos. How would you address that, I mean, today? Mm -hmm. We'll have to address it in a holistic uh, approach. Mm -hmm. For one, we need to really develop our uh, rural areas okay. and make um, these areas profitable so that they won't need to uh, migrate uh, to the urban areas, not only in Metro Manila. You stem the, the flow of uh, migration then the other is, I believe it's high time that we transfer the seat of government okay. to an area which we can develop as a modern city. Um, okay. This has been done uh, in several countries okay. successfully and given a very limited time. But you also mm -hmm. mentioned the breakdown in public order. Isn't there a problem also with governance itself, our quality of governance? When you talk about national governance, you're talking about macro macro level, but it's more on the implementation on the ground. In law enforcement, uh, I believe um, we have enough, <coughs> enough policies to address the situation, but um, as it is, there seems to be a, a problem or a disconnect. So we can do that by uh, uh, reorient uh, reorienting the Philippine National Police, modernizing their uh, crime-solving methods. Yes. Um, we should have the national ID system so that we can have a database uh, on all um, our citizens and that will make uh, life miserable for uh, 
those uh, criminals. Weren't mm. you also uh, reacting to governance in the military? In mm -hmm. other words, um, corruption in the military. Yes. Uh, do you still sense that or feel that? I believe the solution to the reformation of the military lies within the military itself. Just don't mess with the promotion system and it will automatically weed out the corrupt and the inept. Okay. That's how the system was designed and uh, that system is best left unto itself. So what uh, the Arroyo administration did was they messed with the system, yes. they tried to pick favorites and they gave premium to loyalty regardless of uh, the service reputation of these officers. What emboldened you to, to stage the uh, Oakwood mutiny uh, back then and also the Manila Peninsula siege? Mm -hmm. Can you say who, who helped you or who was part of your, your larger group? During those times, we received information that uh, was detrimental to our mandate as a protector of the people in the state. Particularly, um, some of our officers were being ordered to kill our own citizens mm -hmm. to set a scenario. So that didn't sit well with uh, the, my fellow officers. So mm -hmm. we brought it out to the public along with the corruption issues that uh, were building up around those times. Okay. And there were also civilians uh, who you were conferring with or, or you were, uh, who were helping you? Yes, the time. Uh, who were plotting with us, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Can uh, you say who? Well, uh, Vice President Bina was one. Okay. And uh, there are plenty more uh, prominent personalities, but uh, in time I would reveal um, okay. all of them. You mentioned mm -hmm. uh, Vice President Bina. Uh, at that time, Makati Mayor. Uh, I also understand that he uh, had abandoned your group at yes. a certain point. What happened there? He was plotting with us. We had set the date and the, the plan of action, but when the time came, everybody showed up except him. At some point, it reflected on his personality, right? Okay. When you give a word to somebody, you must be able to, to honor that word. And in, in this case, uh, he did not. How would you mm. describe your rebellion in comparison with those coup attempts of uh, Senator Enrile and Senator Honasan? One big difference that we can cite is they went up against President Cory Aquino, a modern democracy icon of uh, the Philippines and Asia. And we went up against uh, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo probably one of the most corrupt uh, and most oppressive uh, leaders we've ever had and who's now in uh, detention. Mm -hmm. So that alone is a big difference. When we come back, Senator Trillanes wrote to the Senate and beyond. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.